number one, strategic thinking and choosing a, a college that will help place and has lots of internship opportunities or creating internship opportunities prior to going to college. So that's one of the things that I advise is let's find people who are going to the college. Let's talk to them about did they have internship experiences at college or also prior to college. Uh, let's find people who are interning prior to college and find places that are doing the thing that you want to do that will allow you to come and participate. I mean, it's there. We're in such a connected culture now that you can find it with a couple clicks and a couple DMs. So I, I just feel like that message right there is like, be strategic early, like when you're 15. And that's hard for some people, I guess, to um, break out of their social friend mode. Um, I, I Maybe they don't feel like they, they, they can do something like that. Understand that that is totally something that can be done because we're proving it with podcast interviews of people who are doing that. So you, you in college had doubled up on lots of internships, 12 internships in four years of college. Yeah. I mean, it was... Um... There were times where I was crying, <laughs> you know, and being like, why am I doing this to myself? And of those 12, I think only two of them were paid. I'm pretty sure, um, which is crazy. The fact that in the year that we are in, that all internships are not paid internships. And I definitely have an issue with that. But at the same time, in the point where I was in my life, I realized I was going to do whatever I needed to do to do that internship to get my foot in the door. There was one particular internship that I had done. It was my senior year, final internship, 12th internship, inside edition. Um, and it was the internship that I had wanted for all four years of high school. I had applied for that internship eight times, you know, one time each semester of my college. And I got denied, 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 denied. And finally, I had emailed this lady so, so many times that I think she finally was like, okay, you get the internship because <laughs> I, I was so persistent with it and I wanted it so bad. And I wanted it so bad because it was, I knew Deborah Norville, she's the anchor of, of the show. She's been the anchor for, for many years now. She is someone that I've looked up to and still look up to in, in this industry. Um, and she's a, a, you know, a huge mentor of mine, incredible person. And I knew that the end all be all, I wanted it to be there. And the crazy thing was, and you're probably going to think I'm insane because everyone, when they found out at Inside Edition, thought that I was crazy. At the time I was going to school in Boston, the internship was in New York City. There's four hours in between Boston and New York City. I would intern at Inside Edition twice a week in New York City. I would wake up at two in the morning in Boston, get on a 3.30 in the morning bus that would get in around 7 a.m. I would wait two hours in the cafeteria at CBS News in New York City, waiting to start my internship at 9 a.m., would work a full day until six o'clock, and then I would get on the 6.30 bus in New York City back to Boston would get in around 11 o'clock at night and would wake up the next morning for class. And I did that twice a week. But I did that because I wanted to intern there so bad. And I hope eventually I get to be a correspondent there someday. I mean, that would be the goal. And I hope <laughs> that, that the, the panic attacks and the crying that I had and all of that pays off because, I mean, I still keep in touch with Deborah Norville and everyone else there um, at that team. And I think... You know, I don't I'm not saying that anyone should have to go and go through all of that. That's not what I'm saying here. And that's not the point of this. The point is, is that if you want something bad enough, um, don't give up on that, because whether you get that or something else, something else is going to come along at the right time. That's going to be meant to happen. And I did 12, you know, 11 internships before that 12th one to get there. Sometimes it takes all of those internships to get the one that you want. Um but I don't regret any of the experiences that I went through to get there. So I, 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 go big. I mean, and, and be persistent there, there it is asking multiple times, applplying eight times. Um, that's what it takes. So, yeah. um, 
that's that's an inspiring story, Ali, and I think that that may be like the feature moment that is what um, ends up in my micro content that goes out to the Instagram pages and all that other stuff. It's it's you know the grit and determination to to go beyond the lots of no's and just eventually you'll get it. You did. You got it. And then, you know, the, the many hours of travel and, um, you know, showing up is, is, is the way to, to get to those big experiences. So kudos. It's awesome. Yeah. 